Hey everybody, welcome back to ProMix Academy, and uh, we're going to do a Reaper lesson in here on exporting your sessions. Uh, this is something people get confused about quite a bit, and uh, fortunately it's not too difficult. There's two main methods to export. Uh, first and foremost is if you're going to be exporting to other Reaper users, um, it's pretty straightforward operation. The second version is if you're going to be doing something universally compatible. It's a little more complicated, but fortunately it's really not too tough. Okay, so first and foremost here, I'm working on this song called Scourge of the Earth. If you've checked out my channel, I, I mixed, remixed this song live. This is uh, a song from a viewer's band, actually. So if we want to take all these tracks and put them into a new folder or something like that that we can share with people and whatnot so i'm going to uh export this into say my downloads directory so i can just you know throw that uh throw that up into a zip file or something like that for for sharing that sort of thing and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a new folder here uh we'll call it scourge test okay that's it scourge to the earth uh we're going to call this export demo for reaper okay now the big secret here to making sure not only you know the, the 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 session file which explains what plugins to load and all the rest of the crap that goes along with it plugins to load what file goes where all that kind of stuff you want to want this right here copy all media into project directory and what that's going to do is going to grab all the files that are in in this track all the drum tracks all the guitars all the vocals everything and move it along with it and we're just going to hit save and it's going to do its thing. Bang. Done. Nothing to it. It's really that quick. If we pull up Finder, here we go into my downloads folder, Scourge Test. You're going to see, here we go. Here's all the consolidated files and all the peak files. So uh, if you hand this to a Reaper user, if you give him a uh, thumb drive with uh, all those files in that folder, he can just load that up onto his version of Reaper and you're good to go. And that, that will work absolutely fine. Now, it gets tricky when you start handing things to people who use other DAWs. Like, say, if somebody wants to mix this in Cubase or Pro Tools or Logic or what have you, uh, that's going to cause some problems because nobody has still yet to come up with a universal cross-platform compatible uh, standard. So everybody has their own way of doing things. So you load up a Reaper project file into Cubase, it's just not going to work. So fortunately, the workaround for that is something we, we call consolidation. And basically what that means is we're going to make all the tracks start and end at the same time. Because right now, if you were to import just the, the audio files, you know, this file here and this file here, all of these files would load up at a different time. Let me just show you exactly what I mean there. Um, if we were to take all those files that we just exported and if we uh, load it, inserted a media file here now if we're going to my downloads folder here and look at all the types what we want is all the waveforms right if we load up all these uh, waveforms these are all my wave files watch what happens we put this on separate tracks everything lines up differently and on the wrong spot so that's no good you get just a big mess <laughs> Yeah, the stuff nightmares are made of. So uh, let's not do that. What we want to do is we want to consolidate everything. And like I said, it's a fairly straightforward operation. So what we want to do is first and foremost, we're going to minimize all these tracks here. Just so we get a good view of the entire thing. So we're going to highlight all our tracks and we're going to highlight all the tracks here as well. So everything has been selected. All the tracks down the side and all the region clips. Everything has been selected and we're going to go to file, consolidate, export tracks. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in to our downloads folder as well. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call that uh, scourge scourge consolidated. We're going to create that. That's going to be our folder. And then um, we're just going to call it scourge. Scourge Consolidated. And yeah, that's going to be saving the new project as, and we hit process. Watch what happens. So right now, Reaper's exporting all of those tracks. And we just wait for it to happen. And you see this? Everything starts 
and ends at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Now, if we were going to do that again, if we were going to import that into Reaper, uh, but this will work, now this will work with anything. If we go into uh, Scourge Consolidated, and we're going to uh, sort by kind here, or type if you're on Windows, same idea. And we're going to select all our tracks. Watch what happens. Everything lines up perfectly. Everything's right where we need it, but there's the only difference is down here on the bottom, there's no effect settings, there's no mix settings whatsoever. Uh, we've got to build the mix from scratch. But this is the way how to be truly universal compatible from one uh, audio workstation to the next. Obviously, this is going to sound terrible right now. But there you go. Everything's supposed to be where it's at. So uh, definitely a very easy and simple way of getting your project file into another DAW. Um, especially if you're, gonna, say, going to hand things off to be mixed by someone else. Uh, this is definitely the way how to go. Anyway, hope you found the video useful. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you want to learn more about mixing, editing, tracking, all that good stuff, check out uh, my cheat sheet. You can get your hands on that. You can check out my free ebook on uh, recording drums. And as always, check out my lessons at promixacademy.com. Links are in the description below. I'm out of here.